Morning Sunshines, welcome to another Pokemon news. This one's a little bit spicy. The Pokemon Go community just got up in arms over a little bit of a problem in that game and they actually managed to force the company to change what was happening. They changed the mechanic of the game, which is really cool. We're gonna have a closer look at that because this was a big deal. It, it shows that a company can really listen to the people. We're also gonna look at some brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl stuff. Some news about that came out today as well as the potential for a Pokemon Direct very, very soon with some serious hard evidence to back up that claim. We're going to look at this all in detail. But first, I want to leave you with a message from Raid Shadow Legends. Did you know Raid has tons of champions from all these cool, unique factions that actually have a lot of lore behind them? I'm going to get into some lore about the first faction you meet, the Banner Lords. And as always, guys, you can check out Raid Shadow Legends for yourself on mobile and PC by using those links down below in the description. The Banner Lords are an all-human, very stylish faction which have had their homeland taken from them by the non-human factions in the game, but they're about to set out and reclaim their land in style. Here's one of my favorite ones, Lord Camphor, looking really stylish in that red and gold. We also have Sethalia, female version on the red and gold too. One of the things I like most about this game is just how much stuff there is to do. For example, the challenges. I come in here and I got loads of things to claim here, which gives me tons of silver, which I can again use later on. And there are different categories for these. Of course, we got artifacts, dungeons, arena, and champions. So I just claimed five out of five here, which gives me a new item here, this thing I can claim right now, which is a rare skill tome. As for what's new in Raid this month, guys, it looks like we do have new champions, which we've shown a little bit of, and the new rotation of Doom Tower as well. Why not see if you guys can clear out Doom Tower this month with some of the new champions? So if you want to get a huge head start, all you guys got to do is click those links down below in the description. New players will be getting Shonaru, a new champion, which is awesome in Doom Tower, as well as 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. And here's a look at Shonaru for the new players coming in. It looks super stylish. And for all you new players, don't forget to go to your inbox right up here above my camera and you'll be able to get 30 days of new goodies. It's as easy as clicking those links. I'll see you in the game. All right, so first story is going to be this from Nintendo America. As we know, they are going to have their direct 40 minutes of beautiful footage completely exclusively with Nintendo Switch software as well as a Nintendo Treehouse Live following that and that is happening on the 15th. But people have been speculating that Pokemon might drop a Pokemon Direct sometime before the E3. People have since then started speculating that maybe that's not going to happen because we haven't got an announcement of it yet. So people are starting to suggest that maybe in this, since it's completely focused on Nintendo Switch, we might get the Pokemon Direct in the actual Nintendo Direct. I don't think so though, so let's look at the details as to why we're probably going to get it beforehand. This is the marking of the past few years when we got a Pokemon Direct in the run-up to E3. We have the E3, as you can see here, on the different dates. June 2017, E3 was on the 13th and we got our Pokemon Direct on the 6th. Scrolling over to 2018, we did have our E3 on the 12th, around the usual time you'd expect, and our thing was on Wednesday. The Pokemon Direct was on Wednesday here. 2019. E3 was on the 11th, and when we got on to the 5th, we got our Pokemon Direct here too. There are, of course, a couple of exceptions here. So here we had one after E3, or rather, Bro3. I believe this one was cancelled because of Corona and whatnot, and then we still got our Pokemon Direct a little bit after anyway. So that's a bit of a special case. So all that remains to be seen here is June 2021. E3 is on, in fact, and we do have our lineup for that st starting around here, and we could be expecting a now for Pokemon Direct any day now, any second. We're currently sitting here on the 9th, so it's getting pretty close, but we still have a few days for when that could possibly drop. Of course, it's the 9th for me in Japan, so if it's the 8th for you, don't worry, it's coming soon, guys. History is on our side, excluding special cases, of course, for obviously the pre-Corona era, the Pokemon Direct has been just before E3, at certain levels, you know, a little bit, a week or two weeks before. So since we do not have two weeks left before E3, we have about one week a little less it must be very soon and often pokemon have been dropping announcements for these within like very little time before the actual thing goes live to maximize hype and it does the trick so we could be expecting one possibly tomorrow or today and since it's the ninth today we could get an announcement for this which could be coming on friday who knows it could be on friday friday is a day they like to pick for this kind of thing so guys this could be much sooner than we all think i think it might be worthwhile holding our breath we probably going to get rewarded really soon. To further suggest that, the Nintendo Spain account on YouTube actually 
published this promotional video for Shining Diamond, Brilliant Pearl, or vice versa, <laughs> however it goes. And it's the same thing. There's nothing new here, uh, except that it's just a new post. This did just come out just tonight. So it's interesting that they might try to be stirring some hype here and there again. Maybe uh, it could be a suggestion that they are trying to pick up some pace with getting more information out before a direct comes out. So frankly, I would be really, really surprised if Pokemon decided to wait until E3 to reveal any more information that we're hoping to see with regards to their new upcoming games. Legends Arcade is coming next year. Pokemon Unite still to be announced for the release date. People have hypothesized that there may be a beta announced for this month, at the end of this month, possibly a global beta. There's lots of things that we're still expecting to hear from. We're also still expecting to hear Pokemon Sleep. However, I think we can discount that on the whole Nintendo front because Nintendo said their footage is going to be exclusively for Nintendo Switch. And of course, Pokemon Sleep isn't for Nintendo Switch. Pokemon Sleep's release date still to this day is 2020. It hasn't been updated. There's been no word. It must be dropped soon. What else are they going to do with that thing? Is it cancelled? I don't think it is. I think we're still going to be getting it at some point. They're just going to slide it in there and drop it on us. But it's not going to be an E3. It might very well be in a Pokemon Direct, which is separate from Nintendo, however. We also have something for Data Zarude. It is highly anticipated that Data Zarude will be dropped in an official distribution this month. So all you guys hoping me to do a giveaway for that, you may just get it this month either way. And I'll definitely cover that for you and show you how you can get it anywhere in the world, despite the limitations between behind that, of course, for certain countries. Next story is next week's giveaway. Just a really brief mention. This week we are doing the Silver Magirna, not shiny, it's silver, and it is from Sun and Moon. Uh, next week we're going to be doing the Jewel Mythicals, Shiny Japan Genesect and Shiny Japan Diancy. They're both going to be distributed next week by me and my channel here, along with my co-workers Jin Aster and Suarez for this. Uh, so look forward to that, guys. You're going to be able to get both of them, both on the free bots and the member bots. Our next and last story for today is from Pokemon Go, folks. This is a video about how Pokemon and the community, the Pokemon Go community in particular, were able to witness a problem and affect change, basically force the company to change, and all in the matter of a day as well. What this video goes about from Zionic here is it goes on about how Pokemon Go and Niantic actually advertise an increase of Stardust rewards for the battle leagues, okay? But overall and actually behind the scenes things that were not mentioned were actually cut stardust rewards and it was calculated by some people over on reddit the names of which i'll get to in a minute that actually overall you're not gaining an increase in stardust at all like advertised you're actually getting a decrease minus 50 for most people but actually if it turns out if you got most of the stardust almost all of the stardust you could have gotten the max amount you would still be down 18 percent from what you would have been able to get otherwise which was noticed by fans of the game and they really did an outcry on this issue. Looking here guys, we have Brandon Tan coming in publicizing Zionix video that I was just showing you a second ago. And of course the Reddit user here did a lot of work with calculating some of the things that, some of the numbers that they needed to be able to figure out that they were actually getting less Stardust. So a lot of the community was out of out to kill on this one. And actually the next tweet you see here is a retweet from Niantic support stating that they're fixing the Stardust rewards for the Go Battle league and increasing it for a seven as well as increasing the compensation okay so very very cool that this just happened very very quickly it looks like Niantic do have a very good job at listening to the audience but of course Niantic seem to have been in the wrong on this one they seem to have been trying to do something a little deceptive not sure why but they were man manipulating the stardust numbers that people were getting for whatever reason they had that turned out it was just less than advertised and rather the opposite to what was advertised which is really interesting that they actually managed to act so quickly and the coverage for these videos like is not huge it's about 60 plus thousand views and this just shows how tightly knit and effective the community is they act like one spear being thrust in one direction very interesting unlike the more mainstream pokemon community you guys know for your experience on twitter <laughs> there's so many different factions for pokemon the nat dexers the whatever you want to call them dude there's so many different different groups 
for Pokemon, which is ridiculous. It's just really interesting how fractured the mainstream Pokemon is and how knit, tightly knit the Pokemon Go community is. Quite a difference there. Guys, that's it for Pokemon news tonight. If you enjoyed it, do feel free to drop that little licky like and drop a sub as well so you can keep on top of more news. And I hope you guys will stick around for that giveaway for next week as well. I always do a stream where we have a lot of fun doing that stuff as well. So you will be able to get it for an entire week either way. But thanks everyone for coming and I will see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye!